hello everyone hope you all are doing well so in this video we'll discuss the last problem of uh, lead code weekly contest 317 it's a hard level problem uh, the problem name is height of binary tree after subtree removal queries okay so you are given the root of a binary tree with n nodes each node is assigned a unique value from 1 to n you are also given an array queries of size m you have to perform m independent queries now word independent is very important i'll i'll, I'll tell you that in in <coughs> in the later half of the video uh, so you have to perform m independent uh, queries on the tree where ith query um, in the ith query you have to do the following remove the subtree rooted at the node with value queries of i from the tree it is guaranteed that queries of i will not be equal to the value of the root obviously otherwise you will be removing the tree itself right so return an array answer of size m where answer of i is the height of the tree after performing the ith query okay and um, yeah uh, it also gives you a couple of more things like for example uh, it says that the queries are independent so the tree returns to the initial state after each query right uh, one of the important things to observe uh, also the height of the tree is the number of edges in the longest simple path from root to some node in the tree right uh, let's see what the problem is saying so suppose you have a tree okay suppose this is a tree okay suppose this is a tree and someone says that i what is the height of the tree first first thing is uh <coughs> sorry what is the height of the tree so it's it says that uh height of a tree is the number of edges in the longest simple path from root to uh, some node in the tree right so obviously you can see here this is the longest path right so this is the longest path so in this case uh what will happen then the height of the tree is uh, obviously one edge two edge three edge so three now if i remove this node so that's that means this subtree is removed what is the remaining tree one three and two so what is the new height of my tree it will be two one edge two edge right so from three it has decreased to two this is what the problem is saying so you will be giving a given a tree and after that you will be given certain numbers so at each point of time you have to tell that if i remove this number or this node from the tree what is the new height of my tree right let's take one more example so it is 5 8 9 3 7 2 1 4 6 yeah this is the tree and what are the nodes that you need to remove 3 2 4 and 8 so initially what is the height of the tree obviously 1 2 3 the height is 3 now if i remove node number 3 so just see if i remove this node then the longest path is not impacted so my the the height of the tree will not change right so that is why removal of 3 will not impact the height of the tree now forget about this what what if if i remove 2 now if i remove 2 then just see here <coughs> when i remove 2 this part will be removed so the height of the tree will be impacted and what will be the new height the new height will be you can take any path one two one two the height of the tree will be two so initially it was three it has become two now again this part comes back now you remove four so just see here if you remove four then also you see that the height of the tree will change because it is the maximum path then what will be the new height actually one two three the path will go to its sibling now sibling of four is six okay so height will be three what about eight if you remove eight whole subtree is removed so that means the new height will be two right this is what the problem is saying now there are certain things to observe right <coughs> sorry there are certain things to observe uh, what are those things right what are those things so any tree can be represented at something like suppose this is my tree suppose a b c d e f g h something like this okay i'm just picking up example something like this okay so every node will have some depth and some height okay let's call it depth and if this is depth what is the height the remaining part right so for every node if i talk its distance from top from the root node right then for this node it is depth and 
for this node itself if i move from here to here it is height right what is height from the uh, longest path from any of the root leaf nodes this is the height right so this is what we mean by this now just consider one thing okay suppose i remove this node suppose i remove this node right so then what will happen what is the longest path that i have the longest path is this okay if I'm removing a node, this one, then actually it is it does not lie in the longest path. That means my maximum height will not be impacted, right? This is for sure. However, if I remove this D, if I remove this D, then you see here the longest path is being impacted. That means now what will be my new height? So till here, things are same. I'm removing this one. Let me just change the color, right? Now what to attain maximum height till this level i have to come now what are the other options at this level that i can take i can take e i can take f i can take g i am removing d right so till d i have to come till this level i have to come now to attain maximum height i need to choose either e f or g or i can say i need to pick one of the siblings right one of the cousins of that particular node right so now what will be my new height what will be my new height suppose the height of this is x the height of this is y the height of this is z right what i told you what what i mean by height the depth of all these nodes d e f and g are same but height is different for this height will be zero for this it will be one it will be one right from the leaf node we are calculating right so what we do on the same level if we know that after the node having maximum height is removed what is the sec uh, second maximum uh, uh height in, in on, at this level that we have right what is the second maximum height so that will be one so by how much magnitude my height increases right so initially if my height was this height then it will be decreased by so suppose this length was x this length is y so i have had a loss of so x is removed and y is added right simple stuff x this depth is removed and this small depth is added or height is added so my new height will be this so in short if somehow i compute that for each node what is the height of this node and what is the depth of this node which is pretty simple right height you can simply calculate using a dfs and depth how you can calculate in the same dfs you know you 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 are you are doing traversal so when you call the recursive function you can do that so and what is the information that we need to keep we need to keep information that at this particular level what are the values that i have what are the uh, height or depth values that i have okay this is what we need to calculate right depth is same so height value is what we have once you do that and suppose your query says remove a node f or d in this case remove a node d so you go into your map you check what are the siblings at this particular depth and what is the maximum value amongst the remaining ones that I have? So you, you add it, you remove x from your height, the tree's height, and you add y because x depth is x, x is removed, y is added, and that will be your answer, right? Now, how to implement this? Implementation is pretty simple. If I just show you the code, so let me just fetch the code. I I uh, I fetched the code from a very good solution that I saw in the discuss section. So uh, that is why I just picked up the code. Uh, I can just tell you the name. Uh, pretty good code, I would say. Uh, I am coder, someone. But yeah, great code. So I just copied and I just gave credit to that guy because pretty neat code that I would say. Um, so yeah, if if you uh, the, the 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 function names can obviously be uh, changed and all. But yeah, so on line number twenty seven, my code starts. On line number 30, I do that pre-computation that I was talking about, right? So let's go to that function. On line number 10, I have that function. Now, on line number 3 to 8, just see, I have three maps. One is for height, one is for level, and one is for two maximum. So it is for storing the two maximum height at each level, right? So what I was saying, at each level, you, you store the heights. Now, just consider one thing. Actually, you just need two, uh, two maximum values. If the maximum is removed, you pick up the second maximum. And if the if maximum is intact, then you do not need any other value. So at, at, at every level, you just need the uh, two values, right? 
so yes you you start traversing if root equals to null return minus 1 and then uh, add a default priority queue because we have a priority queue we can uh, yeah priority queue is okay otherwise we can take any other data structure as well on line number 16 uh, int tem equals to what do you do you calculate the height of this tree so node of height root dot left l plus 1 root dot right uh, root dot right l plus 1 plus 1 this is the new height that i have now in what you do height dot put for the current value this is my height that i've calculated on line number 16 what is the level for the current node levels dot put root dot well comma l not two dot maximum dot get l dot add time so simple what it says that in that priority queue for the current level add the value that you have calculated right now on line number 24 what it is saying it says that um, if my priority queue size is 2 greater than 2 then you just remove it right you you just remove it you don't need more uh, more, more entries in that so updating priority queues with the 2 max height of current level simple and then you return temp right so this is what you do now once pre-computation is done code is pretty simple on line number 32 you start processing each and every queries uh, line number 33 get the current level of of my query on line number 34 get the current height of the well of the current query and a couple of variables for that i'll show you why so what it says if there is more than two nodes at the level of query or so it says that if at current level now i am removing a node at the current level so if the node at the current level has a size equals equals two then what will happen you take the maximum one and the minimum one that is b and a and then what you do <coughs> you do certain comparisons right if the current height right if the current height equals to now what will be the maximum value in this case it will be see, see the comments if current node has maximum height in this level then the height of the tree will be impacted right and height of the tree will be decreased by height of queries of i minus second maximum so that is what it is happening here right that is what it is happening here a has first you remove the uh it's a which priority queue yeah by default so yeah a and b one has the maximum and one has this minimum value so in that case what will happen uh the maximum value is the maximum value is here a so what i what i'll do h minus a plus b that is what it is being done here okay that is what it is being done here and i've checked if the current node as a has a height which is equal to the maximum height so then what you do h minus a minus b that's what i was saying right else if the node which i am removing doesn't have the maximum height then that means the height is not impacted so after this query also your answer will remain same and then you add the two values again into the map right into into the priority queue so this is done um, finally when we come out of this uh, uh, loop so it says if there is only one node at that level then the height of the tree will be subtracted <clears throat> by the height of the current node simple uh, an h case right so it says that your the the height of the tree is h minus height of the current node minus one because at this particular level if i just have one node that means now my height will be decreased and by what magnitude will it be decreased by the height of the current level but because at current level i do not have any other thing so that is why height of the tree minus height of the current level minus one simple stuff right and then finally i return q and this is my answer so the trick here is for the pre-computation and getting this observation that depth plus height equals to for every node calculate depth plus height right so yeah i think the, that's it for this video uh, do 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 uh, mention into the comments if you have any queries i'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them actually uh this code was uh pretty clean i would say that's why i use this code uh, so yeah I, I would say good to learn from uh, others as well right <laughs> we we help each other in the community so yeah that's the main motive uh, also um uh, do support this video uh if, if you if you like the content uh do like uh, do subscribe to the channel as well also uh, do let me know in case of any queries and take care bye bye